let's move on to the contact page. So let's go back to Sublime Text and create a new file in our blog directory and save this as contact.html. So I'm just going to copy what we have from the articles page and let's delete everything from the bottom of the paginations to uh, the wrapper. All right, and let's change this from uh, stuff I've written to say hello. Now, if we go to, instead of articles.html, HTML, uh, contact.html, all right, we have say hello. All right, let's go to Photoshop and check out the design again. So uh, this is going to be uh, pretty simple. It's just gonna have the name, email, uh, and message, and then the send message. So let's go ahead and start coding this. To start, let's do a div with the class of a skinny wrapper and also uh, let's add the wrapper padding class. Uh, oops, wrapper padding. All right, that looks good. Next, uh, we need to do a label. Uh, let's just get rid of the four because uh, this is just a static page. So let's do name and we'll do an input field type equals text. Let's do another label and say uh, email, input type equals text. Let's do another one, say message, text area, and let's just uh, delete all this stuff for now. All right, let's go back and refresh, see what we got, okay? So let's uh, put in some break tags to make sure this doesn't uh, stack up on top of each other. Let's do one after the label and one between the next label and the BR or and the input. All right, that looks better. Now let's add the submit button. So we're gonna do an input type equals submit and let's add a value saying uh, send message and add a class of button. All right, go back and refresh. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's add a BR tag between that as well. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and style these. So since it's in the wrapper, what we're gonna do is uh, in the application.css file, uh, we are gonna put the styling for the inputs. All right, so the first thing, uh, just below the main footer, uh, let's put the styling for the inputs and let's do input and we do uh, opening bracket, closing bracket, and in here we do type equals uh, quotes and text. And then I'm gonna copy that, do a comma, type equals email. Let's do one for password, just uh, for the hell of it. And let's also do a text area. All right, so what we wanna do here is, first off, let's go with 100%. So that way, um, obviously it goes 100% to the um, parent div, which is the skinny wrapper. Uh, next, let's do, set a max width of 100% so that um, it never goes over that. The reason we are doing that is because right now, even though this is set to 100%, uh, the users can still um, scale it out past 100%. Um, so if we set a max width, refresh, uh, they won't be able to do that. They'll just be able to scale it up and down. All right, so the next thing, let's do a uh, height of 3M. Let's do border, uh, two pixel solid, and the border color. Let's make a padding of 1M. And let's do a margin of a 0.5M on top. So there's some space between the label and the input. And also uh, zero on the left, 2M on the bottom, and zero, or two, zero on the right, 2M on the bottom, and zero on the left. All right, let's refresh. Much better. So uh, the text area should be bigger by default. So Let's uh, go down here, uh, set text area. Let's set a min height of uh, 20M. 
There we go, that looks good. Give some space to type out, type the message. All right, so let's next do the input of uh, submit. Input type equals submit. So on here, let's uh, do an outline of none, a border or a background transparent, transparent. Uh, let's do a border the same as above, two pixels, solid, and the border color. Let's do a text align center. Uh, font size, let's do 1M. Color, let's do a dark. And let's do a text decoration of none. So let's refresh. All right, that looks good, but we need some padding on there. So let's add a padding. Let's say 1M on top and bottom and 2M on either side. Refresh, much better. All right, and let's add a hover state to this. Hover, let's change the border color uh, to two pixels. So we're gonna keep the same uh, width um, solid. We're just gonna change the border color to the highlight, which is that blue. Then let's also change the color to the highlight as well. Save that, go back and refresh. Beautiful. So let's also do this for the button class because we'll use that um, in addition to just the input type equals submit. All right, so that is all we need to do for this page. In the next video, let's style the articles show page.